Ham Lin. Long, long ago, in a land called Karaha, there lived an earl. He was mighty. He was powerful. But even he didn't dare to step in the woods of Karaha, where they say stayed a horrendous elf knight. So the earl forbade even his daughter to never enter the woods of Karaha. Janet, my darling princess, go wherever you like, but do not step into the woods for. For strange beings and elves come to it, and a fierce elfin knight called Tamlin guards it. No one who enters Carterhaw, they say, can survive an encounter with Tamlin. You have told me this a million times, and you know I don't believe in fairy tales. Some day I will go. I am your daughter. I cannot help it. I forbid you, father. Please, you know me. Nothing scares me. And that is exactly what scares me. Whether you believe it or not, strange things happen there, and so you are not to go. Janet did stay away from the wood for a long time, just to respect her father's wish. But one day, why do I feel as though the wood is calling me? Come on, Windfly. It is time we entered the Carter Hall Wood. Oh, the wood is so beautiful! <laughs> so cute! Ah! Ah! Look at those blossoms. So pretty. So white! How dare you touch the flowers that belong to the great fairy queen? How dare you try to stop me from touching the flowers of my own wood? This wood belongs to my father. Whoever you may be, do not invite the wrath of the fairy queen. So go away, run, never return. I shall come, shall go, as I please. And what kind of a queen is yours that does not allow her knight to be seen? Are you afraid? I fear no one and no thing. <laughs> Except being called a coward. You fear being called a coward, and that is why you made an appearance the moment I challenged you. <laughs> I have to hand it out to you, princess. You got me. I am glad you came. I am glad someone came. Guarding a wood which everyone is afraid to enter. Must be very lonely. Look at you. I was told you are a horrendous evil elf, but you're not. Are you calling me handsome? Maybe. So how did you get here, Tamlin? Seven years ago, my father and I were passing by this wood. On the way, there was thunder and lightning, and I got separated from our platoon. I think I was unconscious, and when I woke up. I saw the fairy queen standing upon me, and from that moment, I became her servant. And you got magical powers to appear and disappear at will. And I am now a fairy. Come on, it's getting dark. You should go home. I will come back. The fairy queen won't like it. I guess if she doesn't, you will have to stop being her servant and become a real knight. Goodbye. All through the night. Neither Tam Lin nor Janet could stop thinking about each other. In fact, they couldn't wait to see each other again. Janet would ride her steed and reach Carterhaw at top speed, and then Tam Lin would smile and regale her with his magic powers, and they would sit and talk and laugh for hours beside the Fairy Queen's flowers. Tam Lin, don't you miss the world of humans? What would I not do to come back, return to my family? Then what stops you? The spell of the powerful fairy queen. I don't have the power of breaking her magic. Only, forget it. Only, only what? I, I can't ask this of you. Tamlin, I want to help you. Tell me how. Why? You've seen how powerful the queen is. Look at what she did to me. Why would you risk it? Because, I love you. What? Are you sure? I do. I really do. 
And I thought you did too? More than my life. So tell me what I have to do. On Halloween night, three nights from now, when the moon is high by the midnight hour, wait at Miles Cross. The entire fairy platoon with an army of knights will ride by. When you see me, just grab onto me and pull me down and then... Wait, if the entire platoon is there, how will I know where you are? First, you will see a black steed. Let it pass. Then will come a brown steed. Let that one pass too. And finally will come a milky, snowy white steed. That is mine. Just pull me down. Hold me fast. And fear me not. The fairy queen will change me to a hissing serpent. But I won't bite. Just fear me not. And hold me tight. Then a huge bear I will become. But I won't attack. Just fear me not. And hold me tight. Then a yelping wolf they will make out me. But I won't scratch. Just fear me not. And hold me tight. Finally, my spell will break. Remember, this will be the only opportunity that we will ever get to break the spell. Janet wrote home that evening, determined to return three nights later on Halloween night. Where are you coming from, Janet? From the woods? Father, I... I thought I forbade you from it, Janet. Father, Tamlin is no demon. He too is suffering from a very unfair spell. You met him? Yes. Are you all right? From now on, you will not step out of the castle without my permission. All right? Father, but I... I promised him. Enough! So Janet was guarded day in and day out. Until the day of Halloween dawned. I have to go to Carter Hall tonight. Tonight is the last chance to free my Tamlin. But how? The night was Halloween, and a huge feast had been organized in the Earl's Palace. Janet put on a mask and mingled among the guests, and then she quietly slipped out at half past eleven. She mounted her steed and galloped to Mile Cross at top speed. There, she waited for the midnight hour. Dare to find me! First, the infuriated Fairy Queen turned Tamlin into a humongous serpent that wound itself around Janet. But she feared not and held on fast. Then the Queen turned Tamlin into a roaring lion with sharp claws. But Janet feared not and held on fast. Then Tamlin was turned into a yelping, screeching wolf. But still, Janet feared not and held on fast. Then the Fairy Queen turned Tamlin into a piece of smoldering coal that burnt Janet's hands. But still, Janet did not let go. She feared not, and she held on fast. With this, the Fairy Queen knew. If only I knew that you would steal my mightiest knight, I would have not let you be born. Oh, woe be to you who has left me. The mighty fairy queen, so helpless, so lost. The fairy queen and her platoon rode off into the night, and Tamlin was freed forever. Tamlin, oh, my darling Tamlin. So you didn't listen? Father, I... I didn't expect you to. You fulfilled your promise. An earl's daughter ought to be so fearless. Thanks to Janet, Tamlin got reunited with his family. The Fairy Queen could never trouble them again, and Janet and Tamlin lived happily ever after.